If you ever try to connect your AI agents with multiple MCP servers, you know there are so many problems with authentication, API keys, and also giving too much access to your AI agents. This makes setup very slow and frustrating. So in this video, I am going to show you how to connect to multiple MCP servers using Storm MCP. Let's go. This is Storm MCP website. Storm MCP is a gateway that fixes setup pain by making connections to various MCP servers easier and safer. So instead of worrying about tokens and configs, you can connect to MCP servers easily through a simple dashboard using Storm MCP. To start using Storm MCP, you need to create an account. The link is in the description. Once you log into your Storm MCP account, you get to see this clean dashboard. Here you can browse through many different MCP servers. You have GitHub, Perl, Postman, Grafana and so much more. You can also see different tabs like Gateway, Observability, Logging, which I'm going to explain you in this video. But for now, let's try connecting to Notion MCP server. When you scroll down, you can see Notion MCP server here and then click on connect button for this MCP server. Now add your API key and it's connected. After you connect, go to the gateway section and click on new gateway. Name this gateway and select Notion application here. Now you can choose which action you want your AI to use so that you don't give them excess access. In the same way, you can add as many MCP servers as you want in your gateway. So think of this like a control panel for all your AI integrations and instead of managing separate config files for all this MCP, you can manage them all in a single dashboard using Storm MCP. Let me show you step by step with a hands on demo on how to connect to GitHub MCP server using Storm MCP and then run some actions on my repository. So in this dashboard, you can search for GitHub MCP server or scroll down. This is GitHub MCP server. Click on the connect button here and then it will ask you to put your personal access token or API key. This is my personal access token. Make sure to use your own personal access token. I'm going to disable this so you cannot use it. Use your own and then paste this in the personal access token section here. Click on connect option and you will see a message. GitHub is now connected to your MCP gateway. You can start using it in your workflows. Click on done and now go to gateway section. I already have these two gateway, but for you, you need to click on new gateway and then choose the app that you want your AI agents to use. I'm going to choose GitHub here. You can choose as many applications as you want after you connect it. Let's name the gateway and then click on next. On this page, Storm MCP shows you different permissions that your AI agents can do. For example, if you choose create issue, create repository, your AI agents can do these actions for you. You can choose to you can choose to select you can choose to select okay you can choose to select only what you require to manage access or you can also select all for this demo let's say we only want to manage issues so i'm going to choose only issues related which is create issue get issue list issues list pull request search issue update issue update pull request update pull request patch this way your ai agents can help you with issues and pull request but it cannot break anything because it does not have a permission click on create now and this is the endpoint that we can use. Click on done. Now we have our gateway ready and we can start using it. We can use it either using cursor, cloud code or cloud desktop. I have cursor here. So I'm going to click on add cursor option and then choose API key authentication. Now click on open cursor. This is my cursor application and you can see it says install MCP server. The name is Tom git and this is the endpoint. I'm going to click on install option here and you will see very soon it will load tools and it will only show you the tools that we have selected which is create issue, get issue, list issue, list pull request and so on. Let's try it out. This is what configuration looks like, but you don't have to manage it because Tom MCP does it for you. Now let's try to test this out. Let's test our GitHub MCP server. I'm going to ask my agent to list all the current issues in my repository. You can see it is running the list issues tool here. And based on this, you can see it gave me information saying open issues, open pull request, and these are all the different pull requests here. Awesome. Based on the permissions you have given in Storm MCP dashboard, you can perform more actions here. So let's try to ask it to create an issue to fix Dockerfy and see what happens. You can see it says I have successfully created a new issue, hashtag 32 titled fix Docker file issues. And here is more information. Let's confirm that I'm going to go to my repository, which is this one, and then go to issue section and you see a new issue has been created which is fixed docker file open right now. Isn't this amazing? You can now use multiple MCP servers safely and securely using Storm MCP. 
One of the best features of Storm MCP is that it gives you visibility into what's happening and this is called observability. It means you can measure and understand how your connections are being used. Storm MCP provides you with action logs. You can also see logs and understand every request that's made through an MCP server. You can also track and see which AI agent or workflow triggered an action. You can also see speed, total request, peak request, active gateways and so on. This way, if your AI agent is not working properly or listing issues too often, you can see that in your logs or if the permission is missing, you can also see a clear message in the dashboard. This makes Storm MCP not just a MCP connection tool but also a monitoring tool. So you always know what your AI is doing and you can also fix problem very fast. So this was Storm MCP. Try it now to connect to multiple MCP servers. The link is in description. Subscribe.